Hey everybody, Christine here to make a video about different MSD BJD bodies and what heads are compatible with them. So first thing, I'll start off by saying that I was inspired to make this video because somebody had made a comment on one of my previous videos, a box opening video, um, asking about different hybriding options for a specific doll head. Um, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that a lot of people aren't sure which heads look good with certain bodies or what bodies are out there that they could use for certain floating heads that they have. So since I had 14 different doll company bodies and the heads, I figured I'd make this video. Now originally I was going to make the video where I gave my opinions about uh, which bodies are the best, which ones pose the best, which ones do whatever the best. And I start some of my footage off by ranking which bodies are best. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that my opinion is not important, right? Like I should just be giving you the information and you guys can decide what you want to do with it. So instead, I ended up scrapping that idea and I just show you guys the footage so you guys can decide for yourselves. Now, I guess I could have just taken pictures and put them on the internet, but I wanted to show the process of me trying to stand the dolls up, me trying to um, bend the doll's legs, um, pose the arms and so on, just so you guys can know how the bodies are. Also, there is no, uh, I have not put any hot glue suading. There's nothing different about my dolls from when I bought them. Uh, there is one doll that had like some little washers in the shoulders, but I mean, I didn't put them there, the company did, so I left them there because that's what the company does. The biggest problem that I ran into while making this video was that certain doll bodies had much larger S hooks than other companies. And the issue was that some of the smaller heads had really, really small neck holes, and it made it kind of hard to hybrid them. Now, it probably could have been easier if I had a smaller S hook that I could have, you know, switched out for some of the bigger S hooks. Like for example, Resin Soul uses really big S hooks in their necks, but I didn't think that far ahead and I didn't order one. So just keep that in mind. If there is a specific head that you wanted to see on a certain body and I don't show that, it's probably because it didn't fit. So just to give you an example, um, here is the Haru Casting Maji head. I have the body in the video. And this head, in my opinion, has a pretty small uh, neck hole. Now you're probably like, that looks pretty decent to me. Well, in comparison to this doll in mind flown head, uh, she has a really, really big neck hole. Um, it doesn't go from thin to like a hole and then thin again. It's just like one huge gaping hole. So um, it was really, really easy to uh, hybrid this flown doll mind head because it fit on every single body. And this neck hole was super huge. Uh, whereas this one is much, much smaller, the hole and the uh, like circular area around it. So just something to keep in mind. I do have a Fairyland mini fee head that I hybrid on all of the bodies except for the I think it was um, the Mithril doll's body because I could not get the head off. But hopefully this video helps you and I'm going to use the comments section or excuse me, like the section where I comment so that I can put different timestamps of when I show the pictures of the heads on certain bodies. And hopefully that will help you guys if you are looking for hybrid options, especially with, for example, mini V heads on all of these 13 other bodies besides the micro dolls one anyway thank you for watching and hopefully this video will help you guys out here are all the bodies i'm going to be using for this video i chose these bodies because they're all the bodies that i could fit on the table first of all but more importantly because i got a wide range of different price ranges for these dolls um, they're not in any particular order I have a Kid Sky Body, Dika Doll, Akagi Doll, Fairyland Mini Fee, 
a doll leaves body, a resin soul body. Both of them have doll in mind heads on them. Soul doll with doll. Haru casting. This is the Maji body. Mio. Mystic Kids, Magic Time, Mithril Dolls, and Mirror Doll. So these are the bodies that I'm going to be using for the video. All right, so we're going to start with the easiest thing. Uh, first of all, these are obviously opinions, and I'm going to show off the bodies and give you my top three for body aesthetics. Now, what I mean by body aesthetics is like which ones look, I don't know, realistic, let's just say. So, I have a first, second, and third place sticker here, which I'm going to put next to the doll. Um, personally, now again, these are all opinions, so I actually really, really like the uh, Akagi doll body. Now... Akagi doll normally makes boy bodies, um, and this is their first female body. I am giving this one first place, and I'll show you why in a second. I'm giving the Haru casting Maji body the second place, and then the third place goes to <clears throat> dog hair, uh, the Fairyland mini fee. Now again, these are just how it looks, not you know how it poses, which we'll go over in a minute. Here is the Akagi doll body. So here's what it looks like, and of course I have a box opening video of, I think, all of these dolls. So if you wanted to see what they look like a little better, then you can watch those videos. So here's what the body looks like. What I really, really like about the Akagi doll body is it doesn't have, like, very voluptuous parts, but it still has a lot of details. So, for example, there's a lot of detail here in the back. There's... All the little sculpting going on that looks very realistic here in the front you can see like the little muscle um, showing on the stomach and it looks really nice and even though her head is kind of disproportional for her body I think it's a little big overall this body is very beautiful that's my dog being a pain <laughs> so that is my first place my second place is the Haru casting Maji body. Um, it doesn't have as nice sculpting. However, I feel like it really does a nice job of having big hips and I don't know, it's just very pretty. And again, these are all opinions, so there's other people who are going to disagree. Here's what it looks like on the side. I don't think the boobs look too fake or anything like that. Uh, the butt looks very pretty, but the sculpting is not as beautiful as the Akagi doll body, which is why it's my second place. Finally, the Fairyland body. Now, my only gripe with this body and why it's my third place is because a lot of the sculpting details, as beautiful as they are, don't look very real like they just look like well we know that there's supposed to be a little dent here so we're gonna put that and we know that there's supposed to be shoulder blades so let's just make a bump so it does look beautiful to me but some of you are going to disagree that this body looks a little fake and it is a little disproportional so i'm sure you can see why i keep saying that these are my opinions <laughs> so that's that body bloop there we go. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna be checking is how the dolls sit. Now for the rest of the things that I'm gonna be showing, I'm probably gonna speed up the video, but I figure something like sitting, I mean, all the dolls should be able to do it pretty easily, right? And they should look decent doing it. So that's what we're gonna be looking at. Starting with the Kid Sky doll. All the things that I do are going to be in this order. So here is how she sits. I'm going to move her arms up so she can sit up all the way, 90 degree angle. However, her feet don't 
touch the ground. So she, I don't know, she looks like uh, uneven. So that's how she sits. She can bend forward a little bit. Let's see the next doll. Oops. So she sits too forward. <laughs> Let me put her arms up. So that's how she sits. She can actually bend forward quite a bit. Um, she doesn't have that thing going on where her feet aren't touching the ground. Um, she can sit up probably like this. Let me check. Okay, no, she just falls forward. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, here's the Akagi doll. She sits very nicely. Very straight. Very easy. Nothing going on with the feet here. Um, she can not really lean forward though, so she can't lean forward. That's it. That's what you get. Fairyland Mini P. I'm going to put up the arms. Here is how she sits. She can lean forward, I'm pretty sure. Yep. No more than that though. This is the doll leaves body. This is the version one body, by the way. I'm gonna put the arms up. Her legs are kind of up, but not that big of a deal. It doesn't like move. She's already leaning forward a bit. Let me see if I put her back. Okay, so that's what she looks like if I put her back. This is her default position, so she's slightly leaning back. You'd have to do that to get her to go forward. This is the resin soul body. Putting the arms up so they're not in the way. Okay, well that works too, I guess. Who's messaging me? Sheena. Oh, okay. Alright, well here's what... She looks like sitting, straight body. She can lean forward, although it looks kind of ugly here. All right, looks pretty good. Soul doll. Her arms won't stay up. All right, well, let me just can you? <laughs> this is the old body, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's the old body. So just in case that's important to you. So she can sit up and she can lean forward a bit. Oh, but she went back in place because I was messing with her arms. Okay. I'm going to move around. <coughs> Now we're at with doll. This is the new body, the new with doll girl body. So that's how she sits. Let me see if I can get her to go back. Yes, I can. She can lean forward. It seems like she can go forward a lot. So that's because of this mechanism here. Power casting Maji body. She can sit like this. She can probably bend forward. Let me see. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> but it looks kind of weird in the back. Oh. 
We don't want you to go that far back. We're on the Mio doll body. That's what she looks like when she's sitting. She does lean back a little bit by default. Let me see. Okay, she can go forward though, so that's good. Look a little more realistic. We're at Mystic Kids now. Her sitting is pretty straight. She can move forward. Her hands aren't staying though. So, yeah. This one's the magic time. She does not sit straight. So she can sit, but it looks really, really weird. You can move this forward and it'll look a little more realistic if she's got clothes on. And you can move this a little bit as well. But if you just want her to be sitting without using those joints, she won't sit forward. So, yeah. <clears throat> I have a lot of trouble with this body. This is the Mithril Dolls body, the one for the Lyric, which I believe is also the one for their first doll, which I forgot the name of. They have two different bodies. So, she can sit like this. She tends to fall backwards. To sit like this, you must use this joint in her um, chest. If she, you don't use that, she will fall backwards like this. So, and the problem with using this joint is she looks kind of crooked. The first doll was Mirage, by the way. So this is a Lyric. The other doll that uses the same body is Mirage. All right, now we have Miro doll, the cheapest company. She sits up right away. Doesn't require any movement of any weird, you know, sort. Let me put up her arms. That's what it looks like. Um, you can make her lean forward using either one of these joints if you want her to. That's it. That one's pretty simple. Okay. Thank you.